Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be learning about three major topics. Now, all of these topics are for beginners, but I guarantee you that even if you're an intermediate, you're going to still get something out of it today. The first topic we're going to learn about is ina. To make it, you take a noun and you attach ina. When the noun ends in a consonant, you will attach ina. And if the noun ends in a vowel, you'll add just na to the end. I should note, if there was a object marker or a subject marker that was on this noun before you added ina, you should remove it. So ina takes the place of any subject marker or object marker that was there. This can also be used after particles or adverbs. So what does this for mean? You can translate it as or. However, or actually has a few different meanings and a few different uses in English. You could say, I want to go see Lord of the Rings or Star Wars. If it's the original Star Wars, I'd probably say Star Wars. Otherwise, I would say Lord of the Rings. Or means one or the other, right? It means if I see Lord of the Rings, I'm not going to see Star Wars and vice versa. It doesn't mean both. This is different, however. This means or when the speaker doesn't really have a preference. It means that I'm going to go see a movie like, I don't know, Lord of the Rings or Star Wars, or maybe nothing, or maybe both, or maybe something like that. If I change the way that I say the word or in English, we can convey that different meaning. But in Korean, you don't change the way you say it. You simply change the grammar. So if you want to convey or when it doesn't really matter, when you don't have a preference, this is the grammar form that you want to use. Ina. So it means or, but only when the speaker doesn't have a preference. Because of that, you can think of this as not only translating as or, but maybe like, or something, or maybe somewhere. I should say, however, this form is used when you're making a choice. It is not used when that choice has already been made. You're not going to say or something or or when it already happened. Logically, when you're making a sentence with or, you're not going to make it in the past tense. That just wouldn't make any sense, right? Oh yeah, I saw like Star Wars or Lord of the Rings. Uh, say which one you saw. There is no choice to be made when it's in the past. So when you say this or that, it's kind of like, hmm, I'm thinking of something. That sort of feeling is what the ina form conveys. So yeah, don't use it for anything in the past tense. So let's do our first example sentence. 그럼 오늘이나 내일 만날까요? 그럼 well then 오늘 today 오늘이나 내일 so today or tomorrow 만날까요? Shall we meet? You want to meet? So we have two choices here. 오늘 today and 내일 tomorrow. So today or tomorrow? Like today or tomorrow or another day or sometime. That sort of meaning of or. It's not saying, you know, I don't care if we meet. It's saying, I don't care today, tomorrow, either's fine. That's what it means. So it shows the speaker has no preference. Well, then should we meet like today or tomorrow? 저는 잠이 오면 커피나 녹차를 마셔요. 저는 잠이 오면. So I, when I feel sleepy, when I get sleepy, 커피나 녹차, coffee or green tea. I drink, you know, coffee or green tea, something like that. So when I feel sleepy, I drink, you know, coffee or something like green tea. But there's another usage of ina. Now, we talked about already how ina is used when the speaker doesn't have a preference, when it could be either or. Ina can also be used without a second choice. After all, we already said something like, I drink coffee or tea when I feel tired. That's kind of like saying, you know, I drink coffee or tea or something when I'm tired. We already have that meaning now in our head. So I can tell you now, you can actually take out that second option and still have the meaning of or something. But there is a important exception when you are using this form with only one choice. You can only use this when you're saying something that you will do something that you're going to do, something that you will do. If you are using ina without a second option, you cannot say something like, 커피나 마시고 싶어요. I want to drink coffee. Because that is not expressing something that you're going to do. But it has to be something like, I will do it. I'm intending to do it. Most of the time, however, you're going to use it that way anyway. It has to be something that you're thinking about doing, something that you're going to do. Not just saying, I want to, but saying, I'm going to. So let's do an example sentence of that. 
할 것도 없는데 TV나 볼까요? 할 것. Something to do. 할 것도 없는데. So there's not even anything to do. TV나 TV or something. I don't really care. 볼까요? Shall we watch? So there's not even anything to do. We don't have anything to do. Should we like watch TV or something? TV나 볼까요? 할 것도 없는데. TV나 볼까요? 할 것도 없는데. TV나 볼까요? There's nothing to even do. So should we watch TV or something? 제주도. 제주도 is the island of 제주. 도 means an island. 제주, 도. 제주 island. 제주도 나 갈까? Shall we go to 제주 or somewhere? Notice that this na took the place of what would normally be a different particle meaning to. 제주도 에 갈까? Shall we go to 제주? Na can also replace whatever particle was normally there for certain particles. We'll talk about which ones after the lesson. So you don't have to say 제주도 에 나. You can just say 제주도 나. 제주도 나 갈까? Shall we go to 제주? Or somewhere like that. Now that we've done the na form, there's another form that's quite similar to that. And that works with verbs. And that is kona. And the way you get it is you take a verb stem and you attach kona. Now, this can be action verbs or descriptive verbs. And just like na, it also means or when you're making a choice and when the speaker has no preference. So it's just like na, but now it's used with verbs. Also, again, this wouldn't be used if the choice has already been made. So let's just do an example sentence. Ah, mango. 저는 주말에는, so I, on the weekend, 집에서, at home, 자고나, I sleep, 거나, or, so I sleep, and but there's another choice I could make, but I don't really have any preference, so I do one or the other. 할머니 댁, so my grandmother's house. 댁 is the honorific version of 집, house. So I'm going to sleep or go to my grandma's house on the weekend. 저는 주말에는 집에서 자거나 할머니 댁에 갈 거예요. On the weekend, I'll sleep at my house or go to my grandmother's house. One of those. But I don't really have a preference. Either is fine. 저는 주말에는 집에서 자거나 할머니 댁에 갈 거예요. 버스 정류장에서 So from the bus stop, 조금 멀거나 A little bit far or... 오래된 집, an old house. 오래된 집도 괜찮아요. So even an old house or a house that's a little bit far from the bus stop, is it okay? So is it okay if the house is a little bit far from the bus stop or maybe an older house? 버스 정류장에서 조금 멀거나 오래된 집도 괜찮아요. Like, is it okay if it's like, you know, a bit far from the bus stop or like how about old houses or something like that? 버스 정류장에서 조금 멀거나 오래된 집도 괜찮아요? Is a house also okay if it's a bit far from the bus stop or if it's old? Most of the time, when you're asking someone a question that has the word or, you really want one or the other. You're asking them, do you want to eat Chinese food or do you want to eat Korean food? And that choice matters. Are you studying Korean or Japanese? Or something? Most of the time you're asking them because you actually care about the choice. This choice, if not this choice, then that choice, right? So here is actually maybe the most common way you're going to hear or. 아니면. 아니면 comes from the verb 아니다. 아니다 means to not be. And since it's combined with the 면 form, if it is not, literally, if not, are you studying Korean? If not, are you studying Japanese? Like that. That's the most common way you're going to ask someone a question with the word or when the choice actually matters. You're actually saying, here's option A, here's option B, this or this. You have to have two choices for this because you're giving someone a choice. It's not going to be used with one option. You're not going to say, today I'm going to eat kimchi or if I don't eat kimchi, it doesn't make any sense because this literally means if not. So you have to use this with two choices. Also, you can use this in two different ways. The first way is between two nouns. This noun or this noun. But most often, that's not how this gets used. Most of the time, 아니면 is used quite literally to mean if not. It's the beginning, the first word that you use in a new sentence. If not, then. So 아니면 will be used at the beginning of a new sentence. What that means is, instead of saying one sentence, do you want to eat kimchi or ramen? 
you would say, do you want to eat kimchi? If not, do you want to eat ramen? So do you want this or this? Do you want to do this or this? Do you want to meet at this time or this time? So this is how you'll make or sentences by actually splitting it into two sentences and adding animyeon at the start of the next one. Let me give you an example. 지금 갈까? Shall we go now? 아니면, if not, 나중에 갈까? Shall we go 나중에? Later. Shall we go now or later? In English, we would put it into one sentence because it sounds more natural. In Korean, it sounds more natural to split it up. 지금 갈까? 아니면 나중에 갈까? Shall we go now or shall we go later? Literally, shall we go now? If not, shall we go later? Optionally, like I said, you could use it between nouns. You could say, 지금 아니면 나중에 갈까? Shall we go now? If not, later. It's not as common though, and it doesn't sound as natural. It's more natural to just break it up into two sentences. Okay, let's do another sentence. 참치가 좋아? 아니면 연어가 좋아? 참치가 좋아? Literally, is 참치, is tuna good? So do you like tuna? Or, if not, literally, 연어가 좋아? Is salmon good? Do you like salmon? So do you like tuna or salmon? 참치가 좋아 아니면 연어가 좋아? But again, notice how they are separate. And because it's this, this has to be one or the other. This one actually is which one? Pick one, A or B. Okay, let's do another sentence. 점심을 같이 먹을까? Shall we eat lunch 같이 together? 아니면, if not, 저녁을 같이 먹을까? Shall we eat 저녁, dinner together? So, shall we eat lunch or dinner together? 점심을 같이 먹을까? 아니면 저녁을 같이 먹을까? Shall we eat lunch together or dinner? Shall we eat lunch or dinner together? I have some more notes though. You saw how ina can have the meaning of or when you're giving a choice and you don't really have a preference. It can also mean like or something when used by itself with just one option. There's another meaning of ina. This is not for today's lesson. This form can also mean as many as, as much as, as far as, and then some measurement, or no less than that amount, or approximately or about that amount. So we can do this in a future lesson. Just know that if you see inan, it doesn't seem to mean or, it's this. Also, I mentioned how ina can replace the particle a. We had that one example, 제주도 나 갈까? Shall we go to Jeju Island or somewhere? Ina can replace some specific particles, not all particles, but it can replace the particles a, it can replace a whole, and it can also replace any particle like a ge for two. Ina can either replace it completely or na can attach to these, in which case it would become a na, a whole na, a ge na. Most of the time, however, ina will completely replace these. There's one more particle. This is another way you can say or. Hogun. Hogun comes from hanja. It comes from this character, which means or. Hogun has the same meaning as animyeon. The difference is that hogun is more often in written formal texts. So it has more of a formal, like a fancy feeling to it. Another word that you might see that has the same meaning as animyeon is not from hanja. Donen. Donen also has the same meaning as animyeon. However, donen doesn't have as much of a fancy feeling as hogun. But you will see all three of these, so it's good to be aware of them. There's a way to make this sentence shorter that sounds natural. It doesn't change the meaning. So this sentence means, do you like mom or dad? 엄마가 좋아 아니면 아빠가 좋아? So how can we shorten this sentence? The answer is, remove this 아니면. 엄마가 좋아 아빠가 좋아? Because what does 아니면 mean if it is not? 아니다 means to not be. You could say, 저는 한국 사람이 아니에요. I'm not a Korean. So if not, do you like dad? So do you like mom? If that's not the right answer, do you like dad? You can actually remove animan completely in every sentence that's asking or, and it still sounds perfectly natural. 엄마가 좋아? 아빠가 좋아? 이거 할래? 그거 할래? 오늘 할까? 내일 할까? 이거 먹을래? 그거 먹을래? You have to make it into two sentences anyway. Animan is actually optional because that meaning of animan just adds emphasis that you're making a choice. This, if it's not that, if it's not that, then this. It emphasizes that there has to be a choice made when you add animen. But if you don't add animen, it doesn't suddenly remove that feeling that there's a choice. There's still a choice. 
Do you like mom? Do you like dad? Do you like mom? Do you like dad? Do you like mom? Or do you like dad? Either one is fine. Both sound natural, but you'll see both. That is our lesson for today. Krom, tame toba. Let's do this.